respiration, breathing in other organisms. Many animals like tigers, elephants, cows, dogs, etc. have a breathing system similar to humans. They have chest cavities and lungs which work pretty similar to ours. Let us take a look at some animals whose breathing mechanism is different. Cockroaches have no lungs or chests or any such organs. How do they breathe? They have small openings on the sides of their body. These openings are called spiracles. They have a whole network of air tubes that starts from these spiracles and goes all over their body. These tubes are called trachea. Air directly enters through the spiracles and through them can go all over the air tubes. As the air tubes go all over the body, the air reaches everywhere. Exchange of gases takes place through the walls of the tube. Many insects breathe like this. Earthworms have a different way of breathing too. They breathe through their skin. Their skin is always moist and slimy to touch. That is because it is covered with mucus. Oxygen from the air can dissolve in this and pass through into the body. In the same way, carbon dioxide can pass out into the air through this. Which other animal is slimy like this? The frog. The frog can breathe on land and in water. So we say that it is amphibious. So, frogs have a pair of lungs which they use when they breathe on land. It also has moist skin which can help in exchange of gases. When the frog is in the water, it uses that to continue breathing. Fish always live under water. Now, let's look at how fish breathe. Fish have a different mechanism altogether. They have gills. You can see some slits behind the mouth and eyes of a fish. Those are gill slits. The gills are underneath. Gills are the main part of the respiratory system of a fish. Fish also need oxygen and the gills help them to take up oxygen from the air that has dissolved in water. When the fish takes in water through its mouth, the water passes over the gills. Gills are soft muscles with lots of blood vessels. Exchange of gases takes place as the water passes over the gills. Then, the fish lets the water out through the gill slits. That's why fish keep taking water into their body. They aren't drinking all the time, they are breathing. Gills can take dissolved oxygen from the water much better than lungs take it from air. Since there is much lesser oxygen in the water than there is in the air, gills are very necessary. Lungs just couldn't do the job for a fish as they can't take that much oxygen out at a time. Plants are living things too. Do plants breathe? Of course they do. And they also breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide like all other living things. Many people get confused between photosynthesis and respiration. During photosynthesis, which is the process of making food when the sun shines, plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. However, during breathing, which is a process which takes place continuously day and night, the plant takes in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide like all other living things. 
they also need oxygen to burn the glucose to get energy. Plants respire all the time, day or night. Every part of the plant breathes. It inhales oxygen through pores along the entire length of the plant, from the roots to the flowers. The roots get oxygen from air pockets in the surrounding soil. The plant exhales carbon dioxide the same way. The exchange of gases takes place through the small openings on the leaf known as tomata. Plants even breathe through the pores in their stem and branches. Those pores are called lenticels. The roots of the plant also need oxygen. They take it up from the air spaces in the soil. That is why it is necessary to keep the soil loose and well aerated. And that's where earthworms help a lot too. Can you say why it's a problem if a potted plant is overwatered? The water fills up the air gaps and the roots cannot breathe. The plant suffocates. Plants such as rice, which normally grow in wet soil, often have air spaces in their roots. This is so that they can carry air from the atmosphere down to the root tips to be able to respire underwater. Here's something interesting. How do whales breathe? They live underwater, but they are actually not fish. They are mammals like us humans. So they have lungs. Their lungs are huge. A whale doesn't breathe underwater. It comes to the surface of water and breathes in. Then it can hold its breath underwater for half an hour. Then it comes to the surface again to breathe out and breathe in. A whale uses its blowhole to breathe in air. When you see water spurting from a whale's blowhole, that's just water vapour from the whale's lungs and any water around the blowhole being blown into the air as it breathes out. Dolphins also breathe with their lungs. They breathe through their blowhole too. After each breath, the blue hole is sealed tightly by strong muscles that surround it so that water cannot get into the dolphin's lungs. What did we just learn? Many large land animals breathe with their lungs in a way kind of similar to humans. Insects have holes on their body called spiracles and a network of air tubes that starts from there and goes all over the body. Exchange of gases takes place through these. Earthworms breathe through their moist skin. Frogs have lungs to breathe with on land. They can breathe through their moist skin when in water. Fish have gills which help them absorb oxygen that is dissolved in water. Plants breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide like all living things. Plants breathe through all parts of their body.